All right, so since we watched the video, Make, Ma um, uh, make Magic Happen, um, you're going to write down two or three things that really spoke to you, and then we'll discuss it in a little bit. But one thing I want you to write down right now and tap into your heart if you can, write down your biggest dream you've ever had your biggest dream you've ever had. You may have to go back years, but write down your biggest dream you ever had. It could have been before you got married, before you had children, before you started your career. Okay. And then next to that biggest dream that you ever had, kind of estimate how much will it really cost to reach that dream. For some people it may be Take care of my parents, I mean, even though it's a necessity these days, take care of my parents when they are aging. Or it may be to travel the world. It may be because I want a home here and I want a home um, in the warm climate. That may be a big dream. Whatever your dream is, that's your dream. Take ownership over it and how much will it cost. Okay? And then we're going to come back to that in a little bit. So what we're going to first discuss today, money matters. Boring, right? <laughs> we would discuss money matters. A couple things I want to go over with you, and these are basic things. Summary sheets. Weekly, I call them summary sheets, what they call Mary Kay Weekly Accomplishment Sheets. And this can be found on Mary Kay in Touch. And the just put it in the search engine. Now this is something that you can send to me electronically. It's something you can also do a hard copy. I would do both. Electronically is for recognition, but a hard copy is for your records that you really would want to have by the end of the year. Not only is this sheet for that, but also it will allow you to see what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, the things you want to work on. So let's look at it real quick. A weekly accomplishment sheet. Of course, in the first column, you see the date in which you held an appointment. So, Pat, when you hold your Mary Kay facial, you're going to put the date of that facial. Then what you're going to do, the second column, you're going to list the name of the hostess. Now, she has more than one guest. Um, you'll list the number of guests that she'll have. But right now, you're going to list the name of the hostess. And then... This is important. Time invested at that appointment. My first Mary Kay party took me four hours. It really should only took me about an hour and 30 minutes. But it took me four hours. So I said, this doesn't seem right. So I had to work on that. Okay? So I always just teach the teens in ministry. They say, Miss Stacy, time is money. That's my toilet in ministry. Okay. <laughs> so um, time invested. Then the fourth column is the number of calls. My glasses are calls. Yes, including hostess. Okay, number of calls, number of calls, number of calls. Mm -hmm. Okay, bear with me everyone on the video. Number of calls. Uh, maybe, I think that refers to referrals. Let's just say referrals, okay? Because at every appointment you do want to get referrals, right? Whether there's one name, three names, or ten names. And we're going to be... I'm going over that in another training, okay? And then the number of orders. Say if it's three people, and out of the three, two ordered. You want to know that, right? So the number of orders. Say, for example, if you're averaging three people and only one person is ordering. I'm going to say something you need to adjust at your closing or something you need to adjust at your opening. So to at least bring that up to two out of three, if not all three. Then, and this is something I would keep on my refrigerator. I used to put it on my refrigerator. And every time I come in, that way your husband sees it too, right? He says, oh, I see, that's a little low. What's going on, right? And then the next one is um, number of skincare sets sold. Number of skincare sets sold. So that's your main thing. That's your main, as far as the product, that is the meat of retailing the product. What are people going to reorder? They're going to reorder skincare before they reorder a lip color. I met someone today. She said, my sister a long time ago gave me a whole bunch 
of lip colors. I had them for years. People don't reorder cosmetics. The only reason they buy cosmetics is because they want a new look during a new season. And thank God that in Mary Kay, about four seasons out of the year, Mary Kay comes out with limited edition items to give us a chance to have a new look. And it allows me to call my season customers and say, spring is in, we've got some spring new colors, right? But the most important thing that they're going to reorder is the skincare. And that's why we really dug into that with the first training. Okay, so you want to look at, you want to write down the number of skincare sets sold at that appointment. And then, also, did you schedule her for a second appointment? You want to master, remember we talked about at the first class, the basic skincare is done at the first appointment but she's entitled to a glamour makeover. Some people may not want a glamour makeover, they may want a satin hands party or a lip party. So eventually you'll become creative with getting your second appointments. And I always say what you're excited about is what your people are gonna be excited about. So you'll be looking at that. Um, on the go appointments, remember I talked about the hand shows? We talked about that? last time mm -hmm. or you may say I gotta meet someone at Starbucks she wants to see a few new colors or she wants to smell some fragrances or I'm in a basketball game and she told me bring my book and a few samples sitting there right there in the bleachers okay that's an on-the-go appointment or during your lunch break at work online personal website orders we're gonna be talking about that in the weeks to come really working your Mary Kay website. I will tell you, I never forget, I went to a training, it was a sales director and she said she was really working on building her customer base. And as she met people, what she did on the back of her card, she took like address labels, she printed out, if you visit my Mary Kay website, you'll get a gift. They could have been, I think it was like an eye color, just for them going to her website. Because the thing is, you gotta connect the dots. You go on my website, of course, you want that free eye color because it's on the back of my business card. Then I'm going to call you out. Hi, Jackie, it's Stacy. I have your eye color. I'm going to either mail it to you or drop it off. Also, since I got you on the phone, what am I going to do? I'm going to book you. You need to connect the dots. How I can go from point A to point B to point C to point D. It's just strategizing, just thinking it through. And what she did, she said, from there, she built a customer base of 500, and she built offsprings off of them. It was really strategic. Um, show collections. I have a consultant that's really good with, we call them trunk shows. It's just an old term. You've done some trunk shows. It's You go into work or you go somewhere and you got some products in a basket. It's not like you're really selling out your trunk. You know, but we just call it trunk shows. And even during the holidays or like Mother's Day, you may say to someone, I'm doing some holiday coffees. You go to their house, instead of doing facials and makeovers, you may do like a little sensational party, where's the sense? And you just get everyone to pass it around. So you just get creative, okay? And you're like, wow, I didn't know I was that creative, <laughs> okay? And then the next one is, Preferred customer program. I'm going to talk about that next week, but it is a quarterly mailing in which your customers will receive a look brochure. They think it's coming from you. It's actually coming from the company, and normally there's a sample inside of the brochure of a new product that's coming out. So and they and they're so impressed. Like Tanisha, I received your brochure. It's so nice. <laughs> you know, so we'll talk about that. And then your sales tax. So if the appointment was 200, 6% sales tax because we're in the state of Maryland. So that's 12 additional dollars. If you give away product, definitely, please, definitely don't do what I did. I forgot sometimes what I was giving her. Okay, so make sure that you write down the value of what you're giving her away. Okay, what you're giving away to her because that's tax deductible. And, and non-recovered sales tax. When you sell to someone, for example, you buy, when you buy um, something from Mary Kay as a consultant, 
is $10 retail, right? Wholesale is $5 mm -hmm. to you, right? But when you buy it from Mary Kay, what happens? You pay, you pay taxes on the retail. Whenever you order product, you pay taxes on the retail. So for $10, that would be $0.60. Cent. So if Jackie is my customer and I'm giving her something that's valued at $10, I get to write off the taxes I did not get her to pay me back on. So I write off the $0.60. Cent. I have to recover that because I paid up front with, for that with the company. And then I also get to write off the cost. So I get to write off the cost, my cost for the item, and then the 60, 60, the six percent sales tax. Okay. Any questions on that? In fact, write down all your questions. Hold them to the very end. Okay. So what this does when you do your tallies, you'll see weekly. Weekly, you'll see your retail sales. Okay. And then your year to date. So at the end of the year, when you go see your accountant, whether H&R Block or another accountant, they'll, you'll see year to date, I gross this amount with my sales, but weekly, I'm averaging this. And you want to really, even part-time in Mary Kay, part-time in Mary Kay, you really want to get to the point where you are averaging $300 or more dollars a week. We were doing that the other day, and some consultants have been in Mary Kay for 15 plus years, and we said take $300. We said take those years times 52 weeks in a year, multiply that times 300. Just part time, some of them said I should have made over 90 something thousand dollars. So a simple 300 is actually you getting one person to share her facial with a couple of friends, and you will make $300. And if you're not making $300, then you and I will talk about that and see what we can do to boost that up. But keep it simple. So you said 52 weeks times 300? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you've been in Mary Kay, say 10 years times 52 weeks, that's what, 520 mm -hmm. times 300. That lets you know how much money you should have made so far just by retailing the product. But this is really good. So from now on, when I'm talking to you, I'll say, get your weekly sheet out, your weekly accomplishment sheet out. Okay? And then on the back of this, the next page is, I would like more information about booking, coaching, sharing the opportunity. And I know that we got so much going on, and I know you may be saying, Stacy should know what I need, you know. But I want you to have open communication with me. And you actually can go online on Mary Kay in Touch. I see a lot of consultants do that a lot. The company will send me information, say, oh, Patricia knew some. She wants to get education on recruiting. So whatever you put in, I get that. Okay, um, I'm not the best to respond, but the thing is, you know, you're going to get that training eventually, right, Pat? Okay. So this is really good. So put this on a refrigerator. Okay. And when it's nothing on there, and you keep walking past that refrigerator every day, and you're going to be like, this doesn't make any sense. Let me get on the phone right it's amazing once you start booking you're on your way you are on your way okay so that's the summary sheets this is from back in the day this is what we had to do and then let me talk to you about the 60 40 split you know how we say you get 50 percent discount 50 percent profit if you start out conducting your business as the business that it is you will go a long way. Even as adults, don't we sometimes say, man, if I would have started out at age 18 doing this, look where I would be. Well, we can't go back, right? But we can start to work on those practices in our business. So 60-40 split. So for example, you have a $300 appointment, right? And 60% um, of that is what? 180, right? 180. The other profit will be the 40%, 140. And let me explain why it's not 50%. The reason being is because out of the 300, 50% is going to go into your products. Every time you do an appointment, 
replenish your store replenish your store you want to fill in any holes that you have because that customer will be calling you and she's gonna say oh I want this and you're like okay great and she's gonna ask you something you're like okay great and you're saying yourself, I don't have it but I'm gonna figure it out right so you want to build your inventory so as you are conducting appointments whether on the go personal websites um, on you know on the face uh, skincare classes 50% into section one section one are the products that are the products that you sell they're not your samples not the bags not the pink receipts section ones are the products that you sell that you make money from the other 10% that's your samples, okay? Whether and don't go crazy with samples. Do not think that people are gonna you're gonna get them a bag of samples. Say try this. Tell me what you think. And you can order. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, okay? Um, but what you could do with samples, I kn I knew someone had a large customer base and she does this. Every reorder, she puts a sample of a product in there to get their attention on it, and then they start using that product. But you're not going to give someone a load of samples. So 50% ordering to the product, okay? 10% your samples, your brochures, your bags. And the other 40% is your money. Remember I talked about, I think I talked about it, and I may touch on it a little bit. Back in the day, and Jackie remembers this, back in the day, we were always taught, which made sense, to have a full store. And you want to have a full store. And a full store was about 23 skincare sets on your shelf so that you are equipped to service everyone, that also you are equipped to profit big time. We're in a different day and age right now. And people are saying, that's fine and dandy, but I need money now, right? So when I go into this appointment, I am going to sell five skincare sets or at least two full sets. But I'm going to put 50% into my business, 10% into the samples or whatever, and the other 40% mine. Stick to it now. Just stick to that now. And you're going to really become successful, and you're going to have a sound business. And I know we all want to have a sound business, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the 60-40 split. Okay? Um... I want to do some quick recognition again, and I want to know since the last time we met, that was what, two weeks ago, if you sold at least one item, put your fingers up, sold at least one, I did you, <laughs> awesome, okay, do you remember the dollar amount, your total? I sold number three. Number three, that is $145. With someone with no booking. <laughs> so that is our queen. That is so awesome, so awesome, so awesome. So I have a gift for you. Congratulations. Thank you. You are Thank welcome. You. Woo so tell them what you did, Tanisha, and t speak a little loud so they can hear you. Well, actually, do I need to stand up here? Um, sure, come on out, honey. Okay. <laughs> so I actually. Um, <laughs> I actually have a coworker that um, I talked to about Mary Kay, and I was trying to actually get bookings, um, mm -hmm. but she was too busy. So what I did is I ordered a couple of samples when I first started. Mm -hmm. I created these facial in a bag. I gave it to her on Tuesday. She mm -hmm. ordered from me on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, so it worked, and I have two more that are planning to order next week, but I don't want to say it's going to be an order until I actually have the physical order, mm -hmm. um, and potentially another appointment just from a sample from her trying to sample. So it's been working for me. I know it, it, technically you want to sit down and have those front face to face, but just due to the nature of the business where I work, people are just so busy. Mm -hmm. um, so I tried that and it, and it actually works. So. Yeah, <laughs> give her a hand. And that's the deal. And as women, we're very innovative when we want to be. Mm -hmm. It's never a point where it just can't work. This is a situation, I can't do it. What it is, this is the situation, so I'm going to find a way to make it work. So we have a consultant, Tiffany Diller. D Tiffany, I'm putting you out there. So Tiffany lives in Houston. She had a skincare class in Missouri. Evidently, it's driving distance, but it's hours. She said she got, this woman had a huge guest list, 
had food, which that's another thing, I don't recommend that, but she had food. Tiffany got there four hours late because of traffic. So could not hold the party. But I'm so glad, she's so positive. She said, you know what? God has a plan. So she told the woman what she's going to do is put the facials in a bag to everyone. So all the people that came, she's going to give them a facial in the bag. They're going to try. She's going to follow up. And then she's going back in February for the second appointment. Mm -hmm. You make it work. We always say, never say never, right? Mm -hmm. Make it work. So that's very smart. And like you said, that's an on-the-go appointment. Yeah. You know? And then you'll get back with her. It's amazing. Like, she purchased everything except for, like, the firming eye cream, right. satin lips. So when you get back with her, people say, I'll say, um, face her again. Well, she's already using the product. Face her again. Guess what? She's going to buy the firming eye cream and the satin lips and some other things. You will always find that. They'll buy more. So that is awesome. Congratulations. So what I want to do, and I, you all kind of already know knowledge of this, but I'm going to do it anyway because hopefully this will train you how to work with your team members. So we're going to go over the ready, set, sell, okay, about inventory again. And it may give you a little bit more clarity than before. So the first thing we're going to do, and I know you all did this, so just um, bear with me for a moment, okay? This is the inventory worksheet. I want you to dream as big as you deserve to dream because you are the child of the Most High, okay? So go and fill this out, and I'm going to kind of say it out loud for those on video. So the inventory worksheet is the sheet that comes in the Ready, Set, Sell brochure. And it kind of helps you to figure out which direction should I go with with regards to having products available and how many products should I have in my store to service my customers professionally, to build my confidence, to build my profit. So like the first question will say, what is your desired monthly earnings? Is it 100 to 399 a month? Is it 400 to 799 a month? Is it 800 to 1199 a month? Or is it 1200 and above? Do not go with your head, go with your heart. What is it that will really get you excited? That extra money. And then there's some points next to this. And what I'm going to do for those on video, I'm going to send this worksheet to you so you can tally up your points. The next question is selling appointments. Do I want to do maybe one appointment a month? It could be one appointment with six people. It could be two women who have her facials and bring some friends. Okay? Or is it two to three per month? Is it one to two appointments per week? What would I really like to do? Or is it three or more appointments per week? What would I really like to do if I could? Okay. Then the next question is success meetings. These are, we call them Monday Night Live or Tuesday Night Live, whatever night it's on. That's what really helped me to grow in my business. I remember being brand new and I was a brand new mom, and just being away from my baby was like, you know how we get. Now after your second or third child, you're like, get me out of the house, please. Okay, but I used to go, my first set of meetings, I believe was down on Russell Street at that hotel right near the um, Horseshoe. Hmm. And I never forget, back then we had pay phones, okay? <laughs> and I called home to ask my husband, how's, you know, the baby doing, and I'm saying to myself, I really want to be home, I really want to be home. But then I also said to myself, Stacy, if you really want to be successful with this, you're going to have to do this. Mm -hmm. And so that's positive talk. Talk When you push yourself to do something that steps you out of your comfort zone, that is positive talk. And so success meetings was great for me. It trained me. It helped me to get the vision to see other women doing great things. 
when I was having a great week, it gave me an opportunity to crow. That's what you say, crow, when you share, oh, I did this and I did this. And when I had a bad week, I definitely needed to be at a success night. So, do you want to go um, attend whenever it may fit into your schedule, which may be, never be that, <laughs> maybe <laughs> never, right? Or you want to attend twice a month, or you want to attend each week, okay? And then the next one are your goals, starting from the bottom. I would like to have a little extra spending cash. And it says check all that applies, so not just one, all that applies for goals. I would like to build a solid base of customers. I would like to replace my full-time income. I would like to become an independent sales director. I would like to earn the use of a Mary Kay career card. So all that apply. Okay. Now, add up all of your points real quick. Okay. Just shoot me a number. I know it's twelve hundred wholesale. Twelve hundred wholesale, okay. What you got, Pat? Oh, you still okay. adding still which you answer? Thirty six hundred, okay. Is it scary? That's good. That's a God. That's a God-sized goal. That's when you wake up and say, "God, help me." That's all He wants. We don't want a pat-sized goal. We want a God-sized goal. What you got? Thirty-six. You got thirty-six thousand. No, I'm just kidding. What you got? Thirty-six. Okay, great. God-sized goal. That's why I love Mary Kay. God is in it. Just a little break with that, you know. I um, just got a phone call from Lisa Jones today. We great start a the a. It's a coffee. Oh, it's like a Bible study, but it's a coffee mm -hmm. on Wednesday mornings um, through this, um, I'm not going to say a program, through this book. I said, only in Mary Kay. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. You know, you can't go to Catonsville and say, all right, everyone in the office, we're going to start a Bible study today. They're like, what? You know, so only in Mary Kay. So that's good. I want you all to grow to um, goals that are beyond yourself. Because they're the ones that you need to pray about. You don't need to pray about the things that are easy, right? Mm -hmm. And so, when you take this ready, set, sell. Say if you were brand spanking new. And I know some of you are not new, so you don't have your bonuses anymore. But anyone, when they become a Mary Kay consultant, the first 15 days, they receive the $126 value of the color 101. This was important to me because I never wore color. So just to get color, I was excited. I didn't know what to do with it, but I was just excited. I wanted to use, wear mine, but I think I wound up selling it, right? But to get a full custom compact with two lip glosses, a lip liner, um, these are two lip liners or eyeliner, mascara, and things like that. So that was a really great value. That was my first 15 days. That, that's what really helped me to decide. One of the reasons that really helped me, because I could have hesitated. You know, I could have pushed back, but give me a time limit, I just said, I'm going to go for it, right? Then my husband said later, what's this on the credit card? I said, oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> okay. And then also, there are bonus, bonus products. So, take a piece of paper, and I just want you to write something down. And this is something you'll use when you're teaching others about their option of inventory. Inventory is not mandatory, it's optional, but to me it's so important. So important. For me, when I started, I was, number one, I only learned about Mary Kay four days before I signed my Mary Kay agreement. And so, and selling to me was always out of the question in my entire life. So I knew for me personally, my decision was if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to ask people for money, I want to have their stuff. If not all of it, something. It's like that good faith money when you buy a home, they want you to put something down. And so I wanted to have inventory. So I like that um, it was the 90% buyback guarantee at every level. So I knew I had nothing to lose. And I like that I could get 50%. 
So for example, write down some numbers for me. This is a chart because when you are team building, I'm not going to always be around. Okay? And so I want you to be able to help someone. Okay? So remember, inventory is not mandatory, it's optional, but of course like any business, when you open up a school, school you need textbooks, right? When you open up Starbucks, you need coffee. When you open up cosmetics, you want some cosmetics, right? So, the top one, um, write down 3600 wholesale, okay? Next to that, write down 7200 retail. And what does that mean? That's how much product you get, right? Mm -hmm. You pay 3600 plus shipping and tax, you get 7200 Also write down plus 647 Okay, and then within the first 15 days, what? Plus 126. So for 3,600, so you're getting 7,200 plus 647 and 126, right? Mm -hmm. This is an emerald star level. Write that down. Emerald star. Emerald star. And I'll talk about that in a moment. And just to let you know, this one services <coughs> about 10 Mary Kay parties. You're going to get some people that will do Mary Kay parties. You'll get some people say, I want to do parties, but I want to do on the go. I want to do some baskets. Valentine's Day is coming up. Mother's Day is coming up. Graduations are coming up. So this will definitely furnish all of that. Okay? I call this the Super Walmart. Okay? The next one below that, write down 3000 Next to that 3000 write down 6000 plus 551 plus 126 so for 3,000 cost you're getting 6,000 plus 551 plus 126 dollars of product within your that 126 what within your first 15 days this is a diamond star diamond star this will service about eight Mary Kay parties Below that, the next level is 2400 Next to that, write down 4800 plus 455 plus 126 So for 2400 you're getting 4800 plus 455 plus 126. This is called a ruby star. And this will service about six Mary Kate parties. Remember, Mary Kate parties anywhere between three to six. Remember I said we can call it Mary Kate parties, we can call it girlfriend get together, you can call it a skincare class, it's all the same thing. Whatever terminology that you want to use. The next level down is 1800. Next to that, write down 3,600 plus 359 plus 126. And this is a sapphire star. Okay, 1,800 wholesale, 3,600 retail, plus 359 plus 126. This is a sapphire star, and this service is about four Mary Kay parties. And you heard me kept saying star, emerald, diamond, ruby, and sapphire. We're really going to dig into that when we get into all the programs that Mary Kay, all the perks. But Star Consultant is a program that I think I shared before. This was implemented by Mary Kay Ash herself. She said no matter what level you want to be in Mary Kay, whether you want to win a car, become a national, become a sales director, become a very great part-time consultant. STAR is open to everyone because of the Cinderella prizes. And it's nothing like being a businesswoman at any level where you feel confident about your products and you have your products. And when you need extra money on that table, even if it's to pay gas and electric, you want to get to this level that you can support yourself financially because you have the products. 
to make the money. Then the other two levels below these, one is 1,200. Next to that uh, equals, um, well, this um, is 24. Next to the 1,200, write down 2,400 plus 228. Then within your first 15 days, 126. Okay. So with this one, I always say this service is about 10 faces or less. This is not a star level, but you still see that you still get the double, the amount of product, right? Mm -hmm. And your bonuses. Then the one below that, and this is where we're going to stop, is 600. Retail is 1,200 plus 122 plus 126. With this one, you can do maybe like two Mary Kay parties. You won't have everything. You won't have everything with either 12 or 1800, but you will have some things. <coughs> the word qualified. What does the word qualified mean? When someone is a brand new consultant and she comes in qualified, that means she has done either 600 or above because it qualifies her for the bonus product. This is free new consultant bonus product. That's what you'll hear me say sometimes qualified. Okay? And it's her initial order. Now we have promotions and contests that we do in our Mary Kay family where it may be based on 600, 1,000. That can be accumulative. You can piece that together throughout the month. But with the company for this is qualified your initial order. All right? I love this because I'm a visual person and it shows you the bonus bundles that you'll get, right? But then it shows you what actually does a 3600 look like, you know? People say, I don't have enough room for that. I'm like, the products are small, okay? What does a, a $3,000 look like and what's all the bonus product? So this is something I want you to keep in your Mary Kay library, I want you to get a brain book. Maybe we'll do a brain book before we're done our sixth session where you keep, I know um, Brooke does it. Everything she has is right there. But you know, as, as women, we got stuff everywhere. At least one, you need one central, this is my brain book. Okay, but what I did, I created sample suggested orders. Because being brand new, when I was brand new, I never wore makeup. And I just used skincare a few days, so I said to my director, I don't have a clue of what I should have. So she helped me do my first order. So these are suggested items based on the qualified orders. Okay? So keep that so when you're working with your new consultant, then you can go through that with her. Right? Now, Everyone here, I believe, has done an order and you know how to go through and touch, right? Mm -hmm. Under create your own cosmetic order. Mm -hmm. Something I want to teach you, and this is take this to the bank. I want you to write, you're going to have to write this down. I want to teach you about, and I want to make sure I write this down. I want to teach you about status. A1, A2, A3, I1, I2, I3. We have a great system in my office that um, will remind a consultant of what your status is because your women, you're busy and you're like, oh, I forgot or I didn't know. So in my office, what we do, it will send out, you'll get an e-card reminder, you'll get a text reminder, you may get a phone call. And I find that a lot of my consultants say, I didn't know, you know, and that's fine, all right? Um, so the month that you order, let's just say it's January, you place a 225 or more wholesale order this month, you are an A1, active, first month active, okay? Mm -hmm. Say then we go to February. Mm -hmm. If your orders do not add up to 225, you are a second month active, so you'll see A2 next to your name. 
all right? So say you place a $50 order. You still at you still get 50%. But if all those orders, you could do a $50, a $75, a $10, it doesn't matter. As long as they all add up to $225 by the end of February, if they add up to $225 or more by the end of February, you're A1 again. If not, you'll be an A2. In the month of March, you're an A3. Right? You can place any size order. You can do a whole bunch of small orders. Still get 50%. If they all add up to 225 by the end of March, what happens? You'll be an A1. If not, if not, at the midnight, when the midnight strikes, 1201 midnight, in April, the A is out, you'll be an I-1. I-1 means first month inactive. You're still a consultant. We love you dearly. You know, we're family. But when you go on the computer to tr do an order, you're like, why is he charging me the same amount that I'm ordering? No discount. Because you don't have your 50%. Okay? But what do you do to reactivate your 50%? 225. Okay? One lump sum, not bits and pieces. You never want to pay full price. Okay? I'm going to answer your question in a minute. So we're in the month of April, right? Let me go back to school. Okay, May. Okay? I2, second month inactive. The great thing, what they're doing, the directors, we just got an email, anyone who's an I2, they get reactivated this month. Mary Kay's gonna give them that amazing firming eye cream as a gift. I'm like, wow, that's mm -hmm. so awesome. All my second month in active consultants will also get a firming eye cream from the company. You can fix that in May by doing a 225 or more. Okay, but if you don't, in June, what happens? You're an I3, third month inactive. I don't want you to get, I want to just educate you, but I don't want you to get caught up with this because you, we will, my assistant, myself, will let you know where you are. Okay, so an I3, third month inactive, how do you get reinstated? 225 or more, but say if you did not, which we're not going to have that here because you guys are going to be superstars in Mary Kay. But, say if that was the case, so July, you'll be T1. Does not mean you're out, but it's the first month termination. First month termination, okay? So, with that, that's your last month in which the company will put you on their mailing list of the Applause Magazine. It's nothing personal. They're just assuming she doesn't want to be a Mary Kay consultant, okay? But they'll send you a look brochure, I believe. You're going to get bombarded from me. Okay? We're going to remind you. Okay? And come July, where am I? July? The next month, if you don't do anything, the next month, you'll, re you'll be a regular T, which means you can't recruit. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you something, Linda. Do they lose commissions as soon as they go inactive, like I2, if they have... When you go inactive, you have a team member, you don't get any commissions mm -hmm. if you're inactive, okay? Um, that won't happen, but it's, I want you all to know everything, everything. And then you'll have another four or five months, it's like a total year from the time that you ordered, that you would lose your consultant ID number. I've had people say, I went online and it's not taking my number. <laughs> and I'll say, we tried to reach you. <laughs> Okay. They also lose their consultants. <coughs> you'll lose your consultants also. When you become a T, yeah. you'll lose your consultants. Okay, you, you won't have any more team members. They'll just like kind of, I'm still their director, but they don't have a personal recruiter. Okay. This will not happen to you, but I want you to be aware of how it works. Okay. Part-time consultants will get the rhythm where you're always an A1. Because it's not really, to me, it's not about the status. It's because you started a business. Mm -hmm. And in a business, who is 
start a business and say, I don't want to make money. You want to make some money, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what you, you know, you're training for um, one step at a time. You're going to be fine. But I wanted to educate you on that. All right? Now, I do want to recognize, she's not here, but she's sick, so she's going to get this on video. Mm -hmm. Latasha in the unit of Linda King Trouble, she is a Ruby star. So give her a hand. Congratulations. So she's a brand new consultant, started as a Ruby star. And so, um, you know, she's ready. She's, she's equipped. Okay. Um, I want to kind of go over a few things before I get into something called vision casting. All right. So, like I said, this, that is the company, the qualified for new consultants. Talk to you about the status, A1, A2, A3, I1s and all of that. But also, we do have monthly promotions in our Mary Kay unit. So, if you go to unitnet.com, unitnet.com forward slash Stacy Nelson, you can go on there real quick. Can you bring it up real quick? Oh, you all got to connect to my internet and all yeah, that stuff? Okay, I don't feel like doing all that. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, there are a few contests. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna get something that you all can see. Let me get something. Yeah. Have to get our password. Too complicated, right? This is too to a page. Why don't y'all see something as I fan myself? Okay. Oh, in fact, I could have just did it. I think it's in my. Let's see. Yeah, it as I thought. That's okay. <laughs> okay. You know I'll find it right later. Oh. Okay, cool. So we got some and the reason we do contests because if you achieve these contests, that means that you're growing your business piece by piece. Also, if you're going to work, get some recognition. Get the prize. The money's great. But it's still nothing like some diamonds and some cars and some ribbons. And, you know, money's great. But, you know, you know, you get paid at your job. Wouldn't it take you to another level when you go to work tomorrow? They're like, Tanisha, this is here. Woohoo! Our champion. Well, you'd be like, wow, this is nice. It may get you to the point where you work and don't want the money. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. But, and Mary Kay, that's one of the things we take pride in, the recognition, praise to success. And so this month we have the 300, the 600, and $1,000 club. And my thing is, if you're retailing 600, which is, uh, what's that, how much is that a week? 150 a week, right? Then you'll be able to do your 60-40 split and put 300 back into your business. If you're doing $300 a week, then $1,200 retail, you put $600 back into your business. If you're doing $500 a week, then it's $2,000 a month, and it's $1,000 back into your business. So you'll be a part of one of those clubs. And then we have, and you know what happens is, it's amazing, when you're holding appointments, Someone is going to be sitting there at that appointment. They may not say anything to you, but they'd be like in her mind, I wonder what it would take for me to do this. I wonder if she's going to ask me. If she's not, I may be too afraid. So you want to, mm -hmm. you want to offer. You never know, right? So when you get that one new active team member, A1, right, or two new recruits, I didn't say active, then there's another award. And then we're going to do a wild out red event. We have a lot of fun. So we got something special we're going to be doing in February. And who comes to that? All my red jackets, those with three or more recruits in their team. Or, it says and, but it says or, if you do like the $600 club and get one new active recruit, you're there. My thing is, if you focus on this, you win this, and you, I want you to learn how to double dip. That's what I want you to do, double dip. And then you'll be in qualification for the getaway we're going to do at the Eden Resort. Mm -hmm. So don't try to qualify for everything 
focus on the 600 and the one new active team member or the 602 new team members. So you can double dip, triple dip really. Okay? And that's why I love to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversation. If you go home and say, Stacy, I don't know how to recruit. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know how to do get up to the 600. That's what I'm here for, to help you to strategize. And we put our heads together and it's amazing. Um, under Dini, she's in Dini's unit. She said the other day, she got her a new recruit. Mm. And she said someone she works with, and did the person say, I want to do that? Or no, the, she was purchasing product from her. She said, you're purchasing all this product from me. You, why don't you do this? And you know what the person said? Okay. She didn't even go over the marketing plan. We make things too technical. Women don't need technical right now. They mm -hmm. just want the freedom to be themselves, mm -hmm. to have some fun. So you probably could just call someone and say, guess what? I'm doing Mary Kay again. I'm so excited. I'm going to make some money this year, get some tax break. I'm going to win some prizes. Why don't you join me? She'll be like, okay. <laughs> we make things too hard. And I understand. We live in a, a world that is just so technical. But women just don't want to have to think sometimes. We think so much. You know what I'm saying? So make, keep it simple and help someone to have fun. But if you want to qualify for one of these, just text me and say, Stacy, can we chat tomorrow? And we will definitely make that happen. Because you deserve it. And you and you know what? You guys can make it happen. Oh, my two new contacts need that. Okay. So um, what I also want to recognize next time, something called the Pearls of Sharing. Pearls of Sharing is a program <laughs> that Mary Kay has that you earn your pearl earrings when you do three practice sharings with me and that means you get some somebody that you really like and she, you'll, she'll learn she can watch my YouTube okay and then we'll do like a quick five minute follow up with her and you do three of those and you get your pearls of sharing earrings also you know we have a contest for one guest to earn a Michael Kors bag. All of this is on UnitNet. So use your UnitNet to always know what's going on. But my thing is, even though there's a lot of contests, this is my thing. Focus on one that will take care of all of them. Focus on one that will take care of all of them and don't focus on all of them. Find the one and then win it all. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the video that we just saw, okay, if you can give me one or two things that caught your attention that spoke to you, share, choices, choices. inspiration, inspiration. Um, um, confidence, confidence. Mm -hmm. and all that was shared, right? Mm -hmm. And these are women that we see all the time. These are real women. Isn't it great to be a part of something that eventually, you know, these women, that these are just women that started just like us around a kitchen table or a dining room table, mm -hmm. not sure if this will work for them. They knew Mary Kay worked, but when we look at ourselves, we think of all the reasons why we can and mm -hmm. all of that, but they just kept working piece by piece by piece. And I know that you all are amazing women, amazing talent, you know. And so I want to really tap into that if you will allow me. Okay. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to pass this around. Yes, my applause magazine is kind of like, okay. But look at the three highlighted. That's a monthly check. The three that were highlighted. Okay. Can you read those? Lori Mayfield Banks, 70812 Okay. Sabrina Goodwin Monday, 10905 Okay. Chrisette M. Ellis, 10786 Okay. You hear that? Okay. And so, these are some of the women that were on that video. Mm -hmm. And you and I did this, and we're going to do it again. <coughs> so, you have Gloria, who's right 20 minutes from us in Ellicott City, right? Um... 70, over 70,000 and Sabrina and Chrisette over 10,000 which one which one 
that you can fathom right now that will make a big difference to you? Write it down. Is it the 70,000? Is it the 10,000? Okay? When you think of that big girl dream, big girl dream, write down the one that speaks to you, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is what I want you to do. I want you to write, you're going to need a piece of paper, a clean piece, or your computer, okay? You're going to list three people that this will make a difference in their lives. Besides yourself. Stop thinking about yourself. <laughs> okay. Three people that this will make a difference in their lives. Okay. So for those listening on the video, list three people that whether your monthly commission check was 10000 or 70,000. Who are the three people that this will make a huge difference in their lives? Then what I want you to do next to those names on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least, 10 being the greatest, on a scale of 1 to 10, write the number, the level of importance that the, that the difference will make for those three people. So, for example, if it's your grandmother and you want your grandmother to be able to, to have her farm back. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> okay? Well, they took her farm, okay? <laughs> and you want her to have her farm back. How important from a scale of 1 to 10 would this make a big difference in her life? Right? Probably be a 10, right? Okay? So do that for each of those three people. Then what I want you to do, this pertains to you. On a scale of 1 to 10, how important is it to you to make that difference in their life? Okay. I was reading in here, um, Tatiana Rodriguez, she started Mary Kay, and as you read her story, she was able, she didn't start Mary Kay for this reason, but as she was able to save 25000 to have fertility um, treatments. Mm -hmm. Now she has her baby girl. That's huge, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that was on a 1 to 10, mm -hmm. a 10, right? I know some of my friends in Mary Kay, one was able, because of her Mary Kay, she was able to care for her husband's sister who was disabled. I mean, there's so many stories. Some things you'll be like, I thought I had issues. You know, but you hear their stories, you're like, wow, wow. Okay? Now, the next lot, go lot down a little bit. Write down three things you will be able to purchase or you'll be able to do with that income. Three things you will be either be able to purchase or you'll be able to do with that income. Some women may say, I'll be able to be home with my children, you know. Some people may say, I'll be able to maybe relocate back home or relocate. Some people may say, I'll be able to pay off my medical debt. So that's a real thing now these days, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you write down the three things that you will be able to purchase or do with that income. Next, I want you to write down three things, three stresses that it will release. Three stresses it will release. What are three things that you're stressed out that if you had that money, it would help a whole bunch. Like when you thought you were going to win that mega million. I know you were dreaming. <laughs> and you probably start writing down, oh, I can do this if, it, if I just get a smidge of it, right? Okay, then I want you to write down three community-based charities that you could bless substantially. And it doesn't have to be in your immediate community. It could be in another country. But what are three charities that you could bless substantially? And then finally, we are really doing great with our time. Wow. 
Is this helping you all? Is it mm -hmm. helping? Okay. Then I want you to write down three words that describe, or what, and whether one, two, or three words, three words that will describe how you will feel about yourself and how you will feel, period, once you fulfill those categories. What I want you all to do in your Mary Kay business is to dream. Dream. And the more you listen to videos, the more you go to talk, I got to talk about Korea Conference and other events, it'll open up your vision. My husband and I, we would travel with Mary Kay friends to Puerto Rayada. Got to bring our husbands along. And that my husband was already that invested in Mary Kay, you know, supportive and all of that. But when he started going to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and we're sitting around with the million dollar nationals, and it was amazing. Amazing. We've been like five or six times. It helped him to see more. Mm -hmm. And it also helped him with what he was doing, you know? And so if you're not dreaming yet, you just wait. Linda took her husband to seminar mm -hmm. in July. And you know what Gina is saying? I'm coming back every year. Mm -hmm. She's been to seminar many years without him. But then he went. He had a great time. He caught the vision. So I want you all to dream. If you're going to be on this earth, you better just start dreaming. Never settle. Never be greedy. The more you have, the more you can give back. Mm -hmm. Right? So, who would like to share real quick? Um, who want to share your three people, or maybe one to, of your three people? Um, well, I had my sister, my mom, my aunt. Okay. Um, my aunt was a ten. My mom was nine. My sister was eight. Oh, the mom was a nine. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. And any th any stresses that it would release? For them or me? For, for you. <laughs> for me. Yeah. Um, paying off my school loans. Mm -hmm. Paying off um, my house so that if I move, my dad could stay there. Mm -hmm. And going on a trip to Dubai. All right. Mm -hmm. You see how her gain will be to help her dad. That's awesome. That is awesome. How do you feel? When it's all done. Um, I would feel blessed, like I'm being a blessing to other people. Mm -hmm. Cool, mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Tanisha, what do you have? So I did my husband, my daughter, uh -huh. and my mom. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I rate my mom as a seven. Um, my husband is a nine, and my daughter is a six. <laughs> Ooh, and, okay. <laughs> she's two. She don't rich, you don't know, yeah. right? <laughs> um, what was the next question? Well, how would it bless your husband? So I think it would allow him to quit his job and be a stay-at-home dad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, which you know. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. Pat. Um. <clears throat> my sister, my dad, and my mother. Okay. How would it bless your sister? Just um, since she's basically going through a divorce. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's trying to go nursing school. Okay. Okay. And we talked about that, right? Um, last week, we talked about against all odds. Mary Kay started Mary Kay, denied for loans, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about Valerie Bagnall, who was able to, her mother died, so her mom said, take care of your yes. sisters. She, was, she came here to the U.S., started Mary Kay, was able to pay for her sister's education. Wouldn't it be great? Won't it be great the day you're like, sweetie, I know you're going through a lot, mm -hmm. but you're my sister and I love you. I'm going to write you a check. Mm -hmm. And Mary Kay, that happens. That happens. So I want you to keep these in front of you. Keep these in front of you. When your appointments cancel, because they will, right? Mm -hmm. When the snowstorm mm -hmm. is coming, because it hopefully won't come, <laughs> right? Keep these in front of you. I was totally booked up for Saturday, the uh, Project Runway. And I'm like, you know, it may not snow, it may not snow. Then I finally, we finally canceled it. But all the people I had, 
I invited them to next Saturday, but then I'm meeting more people. So it's a blessing. I'm able to increase my number of people mm -hmm. because when some people can't come, what's going to happen? I still will have some. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. When there is an event, when there is an event, take advantage of it. It is a blessing to be at an event when directors are there. That's all I'm going to say. And directors are going to be in the house next week. We're going to have con makeover contests. We're going to do some giveaways. It's going to be awesome. Two sessions. And just me personally, I'm using these now to do the bulk of my Mary Kay appointments on that Saturday. Okay? Streamlining, right? Mm -hmm. All right? So I want you all to dream. Remember choices, you know. Flexibility, flexibility for me is priceless. My youngest son, 17, he's still my baby. He was home two days sick. Two days sick. I didn't have to worry about calling in. I didn't have to worry about saying, son, I need you to go because mommy has to work because we got to put the beans on the table. You know what I'm saying? But that's the choice I made years ago for such a time as this, you know? So dream. Stick with me, guys. Just stick with me. Stick with me. If you got to go back and look at that skincare class video, look at it, right? Um, if you got to look at this video, I'll send it to you guys also because sometimes it's, you catch something later. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Track those weekly accomplishment sheets. Get some bookings. I want to recognize some eight or more bookings, okay? Before we're done, I want to open it up for any questions, but I want to open it up. Do you have a booking challenge? Um, so, speak loud, so Okay. Can. So I um, reached out to one of my friends. I'm actually going to visit her next Saturday. She just had a new baby. And I offered to do a facial. I used some of the language that was on your Stacy Nelson next. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, so she's like, well, I'm not sure about that, but do you have any red eye color? Or do you red? does Mary Kay sell any red eye color? Ooh. So I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know that. So I went on to Mary Kay in touch to see if there was any red eye color. I couldn't find any, um, but I wanted to talk about the strategy because I'm taking my products with me. Okay. I'm taking my bag and all my skincare Good. things in hopes that she would allow me to do a facial. She will. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when someone is asking for, and I've had this happen, people say, I'm not really interested in, in skincare, yeah. but I want to do eye color. I want to learn how to do eye color. And just always say, great. Okay. That's your word. Okay. Great. Right? So I go there and I say, Pat, okay, we're going to work on some eye color. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And I really beat up what she wanted. Then I pause. I said, but before we do that, I want to get your skin buffed. Right? I want to get your skin nice and buffed so you can get the full look. Who's going to say, I don't want to get the full look? Okay. Who's going to say, I don't want it buffed? And you know, the funny thing, you know what I find? She buys all skin care and no color. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. People are kind of funny when you say facial or skin care because either my skin is sensitive and all of that. So I tell people, I, I teach women proper skin care, how to keep it looking young, keep it, get it smooth or keep it smooth and radiant. I don't say, oh, we're going to be doing cleansing and all of that, right? Okay. And so you tell me you want me to look radiant, that's good. You tell me you want my skin to feel smooth, that's good, right? So that's what I tell people when I meet them. And then I'll say, and if you want to, because people say, I don't wear makeup, right? Or people say, I don't wear Mary Kay. So I always say to them, that's why I'm giving you my cup, <laughs> right? But I say, and if you want to, I'll teach you how to do eye color. People want to be taught, not sold to, right? So that's what I would do. Take all your stuff, say, girl, we're going to play around with these colors. But before that, we're going to get your skin buffed because I want you to get a good look. Okay. She's going to buy skin care. Call me. I almost guarantee it. Okay. Right? Um, 
a red eye color. Does she, well, I would say truffle, that's brown. I don't know. She's going to like whatever you put on her because okay. you're the consultant. She's not. Right? They're going to follow your lead. When you think like you don't know enough, you still know more than they do. My director set me free. I recruited someone. We're on our way back from Alexandria, Virginia. I got like nervous. I don't know what she, she recruited. She was an attorney, all of that. She, I said, I was so nervous. She said, Stacy, you know more than she does in Mary Kay. And that set me free. Okay? She may know medicine, but she doesn't know Mary Kay. She may know law, she doesn't know Mary Kay. She may know how to be a great teacher, but she doesn't know Mary Kay. People that get a PhD, they get a PhD in their area. That doesn't mean that they're knowledgeable of everything else. And now I learned a lot of that about people in Mary Kay. Okay? You know Mary Kay. She's going to follow your lead. Okay. okay? So that's good. Okay? Question? Is it okay to... It, especially if they say their skin is um, sensitive, they tried, like they had a facial some years ago, and if their face broke out, is it okay to say, okay, why don't you try botan botanicals? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's all how you respond. When I was brand new, someone said, oh, my skin is sensitive, I used to use Mary Kay, and it broke me out. And then when I was brand new, I was like, oh, okay, nice meeting you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but then I learned, ask questions, educate. So if people say, I tried Mary Kay before, I don't like it, it broke me out, so then I investigate. So my questions are, how long has it been? Right? With a smile, how long has it been? Oh, uh, several years ago. Was it time-wise? Well, I'm not really sure. When I say, well, did it look like this? And then she'll say, maybe, you know. And I say, oh my gosh, you will love botanicals. I have customers with extremely sensitive skin. I, my children even used it when they were younger. And we can do a patch test right here or right here. But if you don't want to do skin care, how would you like to play around with some lip colors? Right? But even when I go in there, for your lips to look really buff, we're going to do some mm -hmm. botanicals. <laughs> okay? Remember. Don't limit your business to one product line. Even though the skincare is going to be the product you're going to get the most reorders, but we got fragrances, we have body care, mm -hmm. we have colors, you know, you have other supplements, so that's fine. And just think, I was trying to think, look at it from their standpoint. If I broke out from crab <coughs> meat years ago, I'd probably be afraid to try crab yeah, meat, but I may try shrimp. Right? So, really, you don't say, oh, well, you know, educate. Educate. Okay? Any other question? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Ask. I'm sorry, I was uh, speaking to a friend last Friday. Mm -hmm. and she's always together, face hair, everything. Okay. And so I decided um, to ask her, you know, what does she weigh or what does she get? Mm -hmm. She gets it from a place in Tulsa. She used to use Mary Kay. Mm hmm. But she says, every time you turn around, they're changing. <laughs> and when you get used to something and you like it, they're changing. Don't try this for this season. So um, we, we couldn't finish our conversation because someone interrupted me. Okay. I didn't, you know, okay. why, why do I respond? To okay. That? So I'm going to say it again for everyone in the video. So what she's saying is she met, she knows someone that used to use Mary Kay, but the person started using something else because she felt that every so often Mary Kay was changing. And so when you really like something, why are they changing it, right? Well, number one, we've had the same product line for years, for years. They may change a lip color. They may change, um, they may add more formulas to the foundation, but very rarely do they change skin care. We've been doing time-wise for well over 10 years. Yeah, it's the foundation. It's the foundation. the foundation. You know how women color. are with their foundation. Yeah, a certain yeah. color she likes. Right. They might change a little something. Inside. Right. And that's why it's important that you get with your customers every season if you can, especially when new things are coming out. And you got to, you know, I'll call and say, Linda, I'm so excited. I mm -hmm. thought of you. You're one of my preferred customers. we got a brand new foundation. I know you love what you're using. 
but I want to try this one on you and, and read the description of it. The thing is about Mary Kay, they put millions of dollars into testing. We stand behind our product. That's why we have a 100% buyback guarantee. And so if they put something out, I will tell you, I trust Mary Kay. Mm -hmm. I trust Mary Kay. Like the new uh, Cream the Powder Foundation, I could not use that years ago. I use it and I love it. It's the new one. They know what they're doing. So your customer is going to follow your lead. You don't become the customer when you're talking to a customer. You are the teacher. Okay? So you get her to try it. Okay? So I'm going to stop this video training. Consultants, thank you. Next next week, I'm going to next next week, we're going to dig into booking, which is the lifeline of your business, coaching those appointments to hold, coaching those appointments to grow from one customer. I had a um, consultant who invited one person to a Mary Kay event. But then she got her to bring a friend. She called that friend, got her to bring a friend, called that friend. She wanted me having a party of 10. So I'm going to teach you about coaching. We're going to talk about customer service and the hostess program. Okay. Thank you.